Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. It is great to be back with you. I want to take a minute just to thank you for your prayers for my family and I as we were um, on a little vacation. It's good to be back. It was good to be away. Good to be back. And thank you once again for your prayers. We're in Daniel chapter 10, continuing our journey through the book of Daniel this summer. We um, see again today the beginning of another vision that Dan Daniel has. We have uh, seen at length so far that Daniel definitely was anointed and touched by God because God was uh, willing to give Daniel these visions, give him the ability to interpret these visions, and uh, definitely had his hand on, on Daniel. We see today in Daniel chapter 10, the beginning of a vision that explains to us something that each and every follower of Christ needs to be keenly aware of, that there's something so much deeper than what we see in the physical world and the physical realm that we live in. So let's dig into it. We'll read the first portion of it today and, and dig a little bit deeper each day as we go through this week. Daniel chapter 10, verse 1, the Bible says, In the third year of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Daniel, also known as Belteshazzar, had another vision. He understood that the vision concerned events certain to happen in the future, times of war and great hardship. When this vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three whole weeks. All of that time I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine crossed my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. On April 23rd, as I was standing on the bank of the great Tigris River, I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen clothing with a belt of pure gold around his waist. His body looked like a precious gem. His face flashed like lightning and his eyes flamed like torches. His arms and feet shone like polished bronze and his voice roared like a vast multitude of people. Only I, Daniel, saw this vision. The men with me saw nothing, but they were suddenly terrified and ran away to hide. So I was left there all alone to see this amazing vision. My strength left me, my face grew deathly pale, and I felt very weak. Then I heard the man speak, and when I heard the sound of his voice, I fainted and lay there with my face to the ground. Just then a hand touched me and lifted me, still trembling, to my hands and knees. And the man said to me, Daniel, you are very precious to God, so listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up, still trembling. Then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come to answer your prayer. And that takes us through verse 12 of this chapter. What we see taking place here is the beginning of Daniel understanding what it means to be in spiritual warfare. Daniel's given vision of, of many end time events and things that will take place in, in the future. But what we're going to see over the next few days and what we have started to see today is the realization that all that we see in this physical world is not all that there is. That as scripture tells us, there is definitely a spiritual battle going on each and every day. And what we're going to see is what it takes for us to be a part of that spiritual battle. I want you to take, I want to take you back to the first couple of verses. Um, we'll start in verse two. When this vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three weeks. All that time I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine crossed my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. If you recall in verse in chapter 9, uh, we, we see a great pattern of prayer that Daniel gave us. And, and what that, that uh, pattern of prayer leads up to is what we have here. Basically what Daniel is saying in, 
in verses two and three is that not only was he in a time of intense prayer, he was also in a time of fasting. And this is the first key that we need to understand about spiritual warfare is that we need to be prepared for it. And the way that scripture tells us to be prepared for it is to, to spend time in prayer and also this uh, lost art, if you will, of fasting. These two ingredients are there to draw us closer to God, to pull us closer to him, and to help us understand what this battle is all about, and to literally prepare us for this spiritual battle. The Bible says that we battle not against, against flesh and blood, but against spiritual things in heavenly places. And so in order for us to be prepared for a spiritual battle, we need to be prepared on a spiritual level. And that's what Daniel is sharing with us. And that's what we will learn and look at over the next few days. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you for another day of life. We thank you for the gift of eternal life that we have in Jesus Christ. And we thank you that each one of us as followers of Jesus Christ are called. We are called to be part of this spiritual battle that is going on all around us. So help us, Father, to be prepared for that battle. Help us to be engaged in that battle and help us to realize that the war has already been won, that Jesus took care of everything on the cross, but there are battles that go on each and every day. And the casualties of those battles are the souls of those that we love and care about. So help us to be intentional, help us to be focused, and help us to seek your help as we engage in these spiritual battles daily. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, once again, thank you for being with me today. It is, again, great to be back with you, and I look forward to these times each and every day. Until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace, and may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. May God bless you. Take care.